Good afternoon. How would you feel if your country was going to disappear sometime this century? I can tell you firsthand that it doesn't feel nice. I am from Tuvalu, a country in the Central Pacific. Our population is nearly 11,000 people, and our land is barely above sea. According to the experts, Tuvalu will be uninhabitable by the end of this century. We are likely to experience more droughts, more flooding, and the salinization of our soil will continue. On a normal week in Tuvalu, seawater will rise up from the ground and form puddles on our roads and driveways. And in the, and in the month of February, and in February, seawater can rise to knee level height in some areas. This wasn't the case 20 years ago. Sea levels are expected to rise by half a meter by 2070. This will displace 11 million people in Mumbai, India, 4.8 million people in Miami, USA, and 5.1 million people in this beautiful city of Bangkok. But these are three examples from countries where there is higher ground to move to. For places like Tuvalu, Kiribati, and the Maldives, we do not have any higher ground to move to. Tuvalu's only feasible long-term plan is to relocate to another country. And so far, only Fiji has extended that support to us. Truth be told, I do not have much faith in COP21 next month. Politicians are great at making promises, but not so good at keeping them. The real issue for me regarding climate change has always been the incentive to pollute. Why do companies pollute? Where does the incentive to pollute come from? It comes from our economy. It comes from an outdated, scarcity-driven economic model that is sadly ruining this world. How can we solve this? Dear Honorable Prime Minister of Tuvalu, Enele Sopuanga, we need you to tell your fellow world leaders at COP21 that they are still leading us in the wrong direction. The youth of this world don't want to compete with each other. We want to help each other. We don't want an economy that makes people desperate. We want an economy that is kind. The youth of this world understand the power of technology. Technology can free us if we want it to. Thank you.